Hey man, welcome back to the Super Divorce YouTube channel. Nicholas Villar is here, aka Super Divorce, and today, Dungeons of Blood and a Dream. Let's try. Dungeon. Different weapons deal different damage on cut or thrust. There's a thrust, there's a cut. Cut with the right mouse, uh, cut with the left mouse, thrust with the right. What'd that just say? I don't even know what it said. I was trying to... I was too busy paying attention to my own bullshit. Can you stab the spider? Jumping is sometimes... I don't know what that said. Hmm. Okay, so you jump with space bar. That's, that's pretty standard issue stuff. This is a door. You open it with the E key. Looks like a chaste. Open that with E. And uh, I guess you just... You just walk over top of stuff to pick it up. Again, pretty standard issue. These are little water pools here. Oh! Keep watch over your life force. If it depletes, you die. So that guy, even though he's caged up, he could still get after me. So I better stay away from him for a sec. Oh, look! And my blood spill on the ground right there, too. Use your left hand... What'd it say? What'd that do? You have powerful magic sigils at your disposal. Well, how do I use them? Not so sure about that just yet. This is a door. Looks like it needs a key. Which I don't got yet. I'll open this door up and find out. What's going on in here, eh? There's a key, it looks like. Some kind of key. So you actually have to pick the key up. You don't just walk over top of it and get it. And I want to stay away from those spikes. And there's a guy down there who's probably going to stab up at me. So let's not do that. Seems like there's a lot that's trying to get after you. This thing, what does it say? Eats your blood for coins. Well, I don't think I want to do that, do I? You can only proceed once the room is cleared of antagonists. Oh, I see. All right. Well, I don't have the proper equipment yet. I don't think. I'm going to have to come back. Let me just see. Hold on. Are these... I wonder if these little pieces are... Yeah, those filled up my, my blood. The little pink stuff filled up my blood. Let's select a key here. We unlock it. Go inside to this kind of trippy looking room here. Curtains up on the walls. Look at all this shit we can just bash up and smash up all this pottery. Head on in here to the pottery barn. Have a slap around. Little tiny hearts on the floor. Kind of looks like uh, we're standing on top of a bunch of cinnamon rolls. And when you jump in that pool, what happened there? What happened to the water? Did I eat it up? I don't know what just happened with the water there. Don't want to leave that behind. No pottery barn left behind. Gonna smash up all the shit. Collect our coins. Expose possible hearts for use in the future. Um, so I don't really see anything else going on in here. Let me head on back this way. Gonna have to figure out what's going on with this spell casting shit. How do we do that? Oh, there's a kick. Kind of a silly looking kick that we can do. And these guys, man, they're... Okay, we can open that. Uh-oh. Thrust the spider here. Oh, come here. There we go. Not too tough. 
What is that thing? A jelly slime? I've faced mud crabs more fearsome than these guys. No big deal. Another some kind of key. Those guys are pissing me off in their little cages, man. You know, I, I, I need something to be able to get after them. If I could throw a bone at them or something like that, you know, that'd be kind of neat. But I can't do that. I can't do anything, it seems. Come and slap around at the wall here. They prepared a nice little mini labyrinth. I thought there would be something back there for me, but there wasn't. There's our little friendly spider friend. Let's try that key. You unlock it. Mm, let's go this way first. Alright, we got a guy. Oh! He does a little didgeridoo dance, doesn't he? Gonna... Ah, you son of a bitch. It makes it tough not having a ranged weapon of any kind to do battle with a dude like this. Look at that. Look how much... Look at all that health I lost. I'm trying to take out one guy? Come on. I've got to be able to get a better weapon at some point. Look at this. I've got a broken sword. That's a bunch of horse shit. That's not going to get me far. It's going to get me killed in a place like this. Just little tiny bits of health every now and again. Alright, there's something to read here. It says, From behind the mountains to his right, it appeared round... No, it appeared. Round and red. A giant bloodshot valleys and unknown paths carved into its surface. Its movement was slow, unseen, but in time it began to encompass the sky with its lightless presence. Its arrival was announced with the sounding of a distant bell. Ding! Ding! Bing! Bong! He watched it as he walked, this obscene eyeball of some god born of primeval slime, distant, unknown, and colossal. I just saw a video on on Twitter X of uh, supposed to be a reincarnated god who died 13 years ago. But he's back now. And uh, he was hanging out in this room. Like a dingy kind of room. Like a dingy room that you would expect to find if you uh, if you followed your nose to a location given on a Craigslist ad talking about uh, having a spiritual awakening and you show up at this place it's kind of like a a small ranch home with, with kind of dingy looking walls and a bunch of other middle-aged white people sitting around in a living room and this young Indian boy spread out on the couch eating kinder eggs that's what this god's doing now. The reincarnated god is sitting around a room full of middle-aged white people eating kinder eggs. And, uh... I have questions about that. I think that's... I think that's odd. Well, now I'm on fire. Oh! Harvested! We've been harvested! I don't know what the deal is here. Okay, so you can wake up or you can keep dreaming. I guess we'll keep dreaming. I, I guess that's... That's maybe... Like a continue. We you start over again. It's a roguelike. Or roguelite. Whatever the shit. I don't know what we're trying to do here. Exactly. Trying to get out. Whatever we're trying to do, it's bullshit with this weapon that I've got and not being able to upgrade or uh, use any it's talking about this magic but that doesn't do anything look now I've fallen into a pit now my blood's going down I, I've got a there's a manual right there's a manual what happens if I choose wake up this takes you somewhere else the plaque reads, I am Ogier, god of making. 
Offer five sacred dream spheres to me, and I shall reforge the broken blade that you so often carry. I don't have any of those. I don't have any dream spheres. This plaque reads, I am Lurog, the Golem God. Offer three sacred dream spheres to me, and I shall increase the number of friendly creatures that may follow you. I don't even have a single one. The plaque reads, I am Barrow, God of Magic. Offer three sacred dream spheres to me, and I shall decrease the blood price of thine spells. The plaque reads, I am Amlel, God of Dream. Offer one sacred dream spheres to me, and I shall grant you eternal increase to your maximum health. The plaque reads, I am Forerun, the god of war, the god of war. Offer one sacred dream spheres to me, and I shall increase thine might, so you may smite enemies with more force. What is all this? What were you... Bad, 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 bad. You can spell out words with these uh, letters there. hop on the fire that didn't do anything no pain shall be inflicted here this is a pain free zone what is that thing you look at yourself in the mirror this is what we look like I guess the mirror flex is what you look like or what you think you look like your visage holds many secrets perhaps some might become visible in the world of dream secret rooms now appear You look at yourself in the mirror, you you are not certain whether what the mirror reflects is what you look like or what you think you look like. Your visage holds many secrets. Perhaps some might become visible in the world of dream. Secret rooms now appear, this place. This place is the mind prison of the one who ensnared you. You must escape no matter what. You remember a weapon you used to carry. It would certainly be of use now. You wonder where it is. I see. Ah! Okay. That didn't do anything. I guess that's the guy who gives us hints. Something written on the wall. It says here on the wall, I tried my best to make this place cozy for you, blood wizard. It got the idols of all your puny creatures you consider gods, so you may pray for your salvation. It's even got a bed, so you may sleep in comfort, and your torturous demise in this prison is prolonged for the sakes of my enjoyment. The only shame is that I cannot observe your nightmares as you sleep. Hmm. Not so, what is this? No pain shall be inflicted here, and no pain shall be inflicted here. In the bed. Can we get out? No. Okay. Uh, oh. I guess we're going back to the dungeon. Back to the dungeon. Alright, I need to, uh, I need to see what's going on with this. What, what, what are you supposed to do with the damn shit? Different combinations of sigils cast different spells. I haven't even seen a single spell to cast yet. Oh, you can... Cycle through the sigils with the uh, scrolly wheel. What did that do? I don't know what that just did. What? What am I doing right now? Why am I bleeding? Just because I selected the sigil. We have nothing written in our notebook as of yet. And, uh, I can't do anything with the spell. I can pull that up. That's my, that's my crazy eye. But it doesn't do anything right now. Gotta try and... Stab at some stuff here. What is that? Mm, oh, we got another guy right there. Another slime. Classic dungeon slime. What is that? This is an unknown potion. It smells of peppermint and apples. Its effects are unknown to you. Let's try it. You become faster. Fantastic. It's a good thing to drink. Unlock the chaste. Let's 
try going through here. Just uh, searching around for, for I don't know what exactly. Some orbs. Some of those crazy orbs so we can pray to our, <clears throat> our gods. And hopefully increase our power and strength. Let's try going here. What was that? This is an old grave. Let's dig it, man. Got ourselves a few coins. Uh, hmm. Health goes down quickly, let me say that. And... And not being able to... To start off with any sort of viable weaponry... You know, that, that kind of sucks. Look at this guy. I mean, you know, like, press any button. Uh, keep dreaming. I didn't get any cool shit to use in the little fucking bedroom. So might as well just keep going. But I don't know, you know, usually in a game like this, they would give you, they would give you a viable weapon to start with. You know, when you, uh, when you take into consideration the types of enemies you're going to be fighting right off the bat. This just seems like, just in a, in a way, just like, why? Ah. I don't know. I don't know. Some kind of key. Look at all this mess. Stab this spider right in his asshole. And then who's hitting me right now? This guy with his little blue eye? Someone else? Is that a th This is an orb. You peer into the darkness within the orb. A square face with protruding eye stalks and big green lips stares back at you. You know somehow that the face belongs to a great wizard. Can I not take it with me? Well... So I just leave it there? Well, what's the point? I thought we were supposed to take those orbs with us and, and fucking take them to the Dreamtown bedroom. Where you can lift him up and praise to your pagan gods. I thought. I guess I'll just go in here. Grab another key. I haven't found any of those wells where we can get ourselves spells to cast or anything like that. Nothing neat like that yet. Let's dig that up. Let's dig it, man. We use... Oh, wrong key, and then you get stabbed. That's poopy. How about this one? Wrong key again. Well, that's, that's pretty mean. That's not very nice. Oh, into, into this room with more... You can hear the enemies. You can hear someone. Oh, I didn't... I shouldn't have done that, should I? Well. It sounds like there's another bad guy. Just... Oh, he's right there. You're gonna try and s just stab up through the grates at me. That's not too great. So... Hmm going on in this room. Is a good guy? Have you seen a man in gilded armor? I reckon the gold is fake. I don't trust him. I am a traitor. If you've got gold, I will happily exchange it for trinkets. Uh, 
this place. No idea what this place is, being honest. All I know is that it is quite different from the other place. Okay. Farewell. What have we here? It is a... Mis misler cord. What is that? Miser miserl cord. I've never heard of a miserl cord. It's a slime ring. It's a fire ring. How many do we have? How many of gold? We need more gold. I can't get anything in here right now. I need more gold. Give me the gold. I want the gold. Oh, watch out. Watch out. But I could really go for uh, a little snack of health right at this time. This uh, potion smells of mold and leather. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like something that's going to negatively impact my health. <clears throat> that was a potion created by Dr. Anthony Fauci. Not good. Not Just not something you want to take. Not something you want to put in your system. You know that guy... That guy tested on... Did experiments on beagles. What a sick son of a bitch. A nasty guy. A whole lab. A secret laboratory where they... They did experiments on, on beagles. On dogs. On household dogs. Hey! A secret room? Get some coinage. Hmm, should I drop down? Should I drop down into the uh, the rainbow room? It is almost Pride Month after all. Be a good time to do it. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. It's kind of kind of shifting about here. Seems like a strange place. A tilting expanse of who knows what. Hmm. And it doesn't look like, you know, down on my uh, my map there on the bottom right, it's not like this area is being mapped as I go. It's kind of a jackpot, you know, it's, it's just... It's just expanding outwards in front of me, endlessly. So I seem to have reached the edge here. Maybe I shouldn't fall off the side. Might be good to try to see if there's like a doorway or a wall that I can get to. Something like that, you know. Something nice. Uh, hmm. Just kind of kind of taking it all in here with one tiny sliver of blood left just trying to take it all in the big winding expanse is it ever going to turn a corner I wonder because I've been walking yeah here we go okay so now let's walk in this direction and see if maybe um uh, Maybe an archway? Maybe I, I happen upon an archway that leads to something nice. Something good. Something rewarding for me. Something to say, good job. Here's something for your efforts, for your troubles. Something just for good measure. A little tap on the ass, send me on my way with like a health refill, something, so I can continue exploring the dungeon. Because right now... I'm feeling a little trapped. <sighs> I just don't... I don't know. Stuff like this is always uh, a bit curious to me. What are, what are we doing here? What's, what's the point of making it this big? What's the point in it being this big? That's what she said. 
But what's the point, really? You know? I, it's like I don't see anything. And, um... We've covered a good bit of ground here. You would think if I was going to happen... Oh, look. It's just a blood mirror. The spell of return takes you to the start. Well, is that what I want to do? The spell of return. What does this mean? If you... Is it like if you do these in this order, you perform that spell? Is that how it works? Is that what's, what's going on here? Like the eye, two suns, and then a cuppy? Hmm. I mean, is that is that the deal? What is that? The eye... And then... No, I think you have to... You gotta commit it, right? That's what they said, but I can't do that because if I... When you commit the thing, the sigil, to actually perform the spell, I think it takes blood away from you. What is this? Oh, hey. There's some kind of guy. Hello there. I am a wizard of great power and I am happy to see you here. Thank you. This is the world of dream. Here you and I are our true selves. I would tell you more, but I must return to my studies. Come into his tent with him. It doesn't look like he's... He doesn't look like he's studying to me. I mean, I'm about to just jump off the side at this juncture because I don't... I'm not going to walk up and down this uh, this entire area, you know, kind of row by row to cover every square inch of it. I'd be here all day. And I was thinking the game would have a little more action to offer than that. I mean, I've already seen it. I've seen that there's more to offer than that. So I'm just going to jump off the side. Harvested. Very well. Okay, keep dreaming. Sure. Sure, keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. Keep dreaming your little dreams here. Slapping and opening shit and trying to stay off the spikes and not, not walking in the flames and, and all kinds of stuff. What happens if we jump down in here? Anything to find in there? No? Oh, one of those guys. Who I, I just can't contend with those guys right now. It seems very unreasonable that I should have to contend with those fellows when, when my weapon is such shit. Look, he does his little... He does like a jump back. And if I try and stab at him... See here, right? Ah! Do this kind of. Ah! He's too agile. Ah! Look at him! Oh, son of a bitch. There. Okay, well, I got him. That's good. Still too much work for a guy that you encounter in like the second room after you wake up. In my humble opinion. Like I, I this early on, you want to be able to walk up and just slash at some guys and just knock them right on their booties. Just put them right on their butts. And you're not really able to do that in this game because they flip around and they got much longer weapons than I have. Some gold. That's where I came from. And a little wiener boy down there. Guess we'll go through uh, this way. And try that key. 
Luckily, it was the right key. Didn't get stabbed to death that time. Come on, you son of a bitch. The spiders aren't too bad. That's more like the type of enemy I'm thinking of. If you're going to give me a shitty weapon right off the bat here, that's the kind of uh, enemy that I, I, I'd expect to encounter right off the bat. Ignite. Ignites everyone around you. So that would be sun, moon, sun, sun. So is it... Is, do you do it like this? Like sun, moon, sun, sun. Then that would ignite everyone around you, but there's no one around me. Except that guy. But that didn't do anything. So what's it supposed to do? Or is it like, do they have to be right next to you? Look how much blood that wasted. That's ridiculous, man. That's bullshit. And then you start... You kind of get into a shoot with these guys. You get an eyeball shot at you. Look, I'm getting stabbed by that guy. You think you're close enough to do some damage. Look, I'm, like, why is that not hitting? That's ridiculous, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, keep dreaming. Yes, keep dreaming. Yes, yes, yes. Dungeon. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell I'm in the dungeon right now. Oh, great. Yes. Perfect. God. See, and then he stabs you. Ugh. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on! Look at this! It's like a boss battle. After you've taken two steps. Because you got this shitty-ass broken sword and I can't do anything with it. Slap, 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 slap. Through the corridor. I mean... Oh, wrong key! Of course it is. Not that one. That's not the right key. This is a stupid run. Go ahead and take me down. Go ahead. Harvest me. Harvest me, jesters. Harvest me. Harvest me, jesters. Harvest me. Harvest me, jesters. Harvest me. Do your harvest. In the mind prison. Oh my gosh, you're such a little bit... Such a... Such an annoying little shit. Just fucking... Just go for it, man. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha! Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha! Gosh. What are you trying to do here? Holy cow! Break through all the pottery. Yes, yes, yes. Break through all the pottery. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Get one coin for every millionth pot that you break open. Here at the pottery barn. See, again, it's like, if you're going to give me a shit weapon with no way to upgrade it in the immediate future, then at least make the, the enemies equally shit. At least for the first few minutes. Because this is... These guys. It's just... It's just a fucking nightmare. Look at this! Ugh! No 
rhyme or reason to it. All right, slapped them all up. What is this? This thing eats your blood for boons. I don't want to give my blood away to anyone. It's too precious right now. It's too precious. If I give my blood away, I'm gonna be, I'll just be dead in no time. Because of how quickly it goes. I don't need any boons. The only boon I need is a non-shit weapon. I can't even do magic because uh, it kills you to do any spells. Well, who got? Oh, it was that guy in his little his little cage. What is that? It's a skull ring. Produces a magical explosion on jump. Okay, let's put it right here. Your jump becomes explosive. That seems nice to have, I guess. I guess I'll see what kind of damage that can do to enemies when I encounter one who's not inside of a cage. Maybe in this next room. Um, up, oh, wrong key. <laughs> I, well, I didn't know if I could reuse it. You know what I mean? I, I just I thought maybe uh, maybe I'd be able to reuse that one since it was red and the thing was red and. No, that's that's not right. That doesn't work. Okay, I need to find I need to find a key. I need another key to get through that door. Uh, let's try going in here, huh? Hey, now that's that's how we deal with those guys. I like that. That's manageable. That we can do. That I can work with. If only it worked on these guys and their stupid ass little cages up there. And it doesn't. Damn. Too bad. Okay, where was that locked door? Through here? You unlocked it. Great job. Alright, let's just... Let's just explode everyone with our jumps. Just jumping explosions for everyone across the board. Free explosive jumps for ya. Come on over. Do you have any more? There ya go, you stupid son of a bitch. There ya go, Mr. Slime. Do we get him? Does the slime not, uh, not pay attention to the explosive jump? Checking things out here. Let's go this way. I see it chased. Oh. Oh, it's it's one of those guys, huh? Got him, got him. Come here. Huh? Y'all good? Y'all set? Everybody all set in here? Take that key, if you don't mind. Just check that out. Oh, that looks like a nice potion. This potion smells of metal and mushrooms. Could be healthy. Enemies drop more gold. That's definitely healthy. That's definitely good for us. All right. Cool. Cool beans. Nice. Here's another potion. Peppermint and eucalyptus. Let's drink that one for sure. Enemies. Well, they drop less hearts. Well, that's not nice. So I guess the the way that the the flavor hits you doesn't have any bearing on whether or not it's going to be good. Looks like it chased. What is that there? Uh, eye ring. See secrets. Zero out of three effects known. Let's take that and put it on this finger. You see danger behind you. Hmm. Still not sure about this right here. 
when you press Q. I still don't know what that's doing. I don't know what we're trying to say when we press Q. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if there's a secret somewhere. I just walk around spamming the E key. Could I open up a secret doorway, a secret passage? No? Hmm. Well. Alright. Back this way we go. No sweat off my nuts. try through here to see. That guy doesn't want to die from my jumping abilities. There we got him. Alright, finally. Picked up a key. Okay. And... Ooh. I don't know. Is it the key we just picked up? This one maybe? Or this one? Haha! <laughs> I, I chose correctly! They tried to trick me. I didn't think they'd put the key to that room in that room, you know what I mean? Seemed a little too on the nose. What is this? Just a hole in the floor? We want to probably not fall down into there. That seems like just uh, a bad idea. That's a bad scene, man. So, you can bring up your map, like, in the center of the screen by pressing tab, by the way, in case you're wondering what I was doing there. And let's head over this way. Let's try this one. We're already in here, huh? Nothing, uh... Nothing else going on in here? Is that right? Oh, wait. It's a door. It's a secret door. Oh. Trying to bullshit me. Get him? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! The jumping explosion is good. Let's drink this metal mushrooms potion. Enemies drop more gold again. Alright. Tablet on the floor reads, There is no known way out of a blood wizard's mind prison, and yet some have escaped from the bloodied pages. All right. Anything else to see in here? I don't see nothing else. Um, see, that's stupid. You think you're, you think you discovered something, and then it's like, oh no, it's just a dead end. It was just a dead end the whole time. You thought you were finding something neat. It was no, it wasn't anything neat. It was bullshit. That's what it was. I don't think I can fit through there without impaling myself. It just goes around to that side, that's all. Okay, so, um... So they want me to, uh, to go back through here, eh? And then what was the deal with that? Why is this room red? What is, what does the red indicate, I wonder? Seems like it should be an indication of something. I just don't know what. And if we had a secret door that we could open, we'd get that little skull hand that, that comes up, but... I don't th Maybe red means it's just a dead end. And, and it's a room to die in and nothing more. I'll walk this way and uh, maybe over here? See what was over to in this yellow room. Why is the room yellow? What did that mean? Just a treasure chest? Is that all? So I gotta go this way, and I gotta go back this way again because I think we've exhausted all of our other options there. Okay, through here. Not gonna be doing any blood offerings. We're not we're just not interested in that. It's just not worth it. Not right now when I have so 
so little access to extra health. It just seems like it's so hard to come by. I don't want to take chances where I don't gotta. So is there another path? Yeah, down here. Let's go through here and um, I guess we'll try this out. Oh, this is a, this is a shop. <sighs> Let's see. Farewell. Some kind of guy. What have we this time? A skull ring. A flower ring. And a m miserable cord. How much is that? 27? Misery cord. Miser Accord. A blade with a single merciful purpose. Thrust damage up, cut damage down. Knock back up, speed bonus up, reach up, price 27. Let's buy it. There we go. Yeah, we got a little better reach now, I think. A little better reach than our broken sword that we've been carrying around. Been lugging around through this damn dungeons. Ha! 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 And, uh, okay, so maybe through here? Maybe next? Oh, gotta be careful. Got him? We got both of them? What is this thing? Oh, that's another blood for coin scheme. I don't want any part of that. I don't need it. Now, I think that maybe... This is the key for this room. Hey! Into the, uh... Into the cinnamon roll room. And... What'd we do there? What does that mean? What just happened there? Hmm? What just happened there? What did we just do there? What was the point? Hmm? What does that do? What is it that we just did there? When I stepped in there... Well, oh, well, it filled up my health, that's for one thing. So maybe a green room is a health room. A blue room is uh, the merchant room. No secret passages in here. And so looking around, where else can I go? Through here? I think this is the starting room. I believe this is where we started from. So where do they want me to go now? I have to look for hidden doors. Secret passages aplenty. Is that what we're trying to do now? We're just now looking for secret passages? How can I get back there? I'll have to make the jump. Hmm. Made it. Not even worth coming back here for. Damn it. Nothing good. Gosh. What a ripoff. Hopped over without incident, at least. And, alright. Looking around in this room. Is there maybe a secret? No. Hmm. Shows one over this way. That goes up there. How about here. What was this again? What was this? Nothing worthwhile? Nothing good? Now I feel like I've been... Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Did we get him? We got him. This is an orb. 
You peer into the darkness within the orb. A square face with protruding eye stalks and big green lips stares back at you. You know something, somehow that the face belongs to a great wizard. Well, what are we supposed to do with the orb? Because it feels like it's just for show. It feels like it's just to look at. It's just for looks. It's like a decoration at your grandma's house that you wanted to play with when you were a little kid. No touch. It's just for looks. That was your grandpa's toy when he was a kid. That's just for looks. It's just to play. It's not to play with. It's just to sit up on the menagerie shelf. And so we'll continue this way. Since I don't know what to do with the orb. Maybe I... Does that do something? Like, what do you do with the orb? Is it just finding it? Maybe that's what it is. Because I'm looking over there on the left side of the screen. And I see that one of those creatures has busted out of the prison. Maybe that's what happens. Maybe I just didn't notice that. When I grabbed that orb, maybe that's what happened. Here's some more shit. There we go. Nothing down the water pool. I guess we're gonna need to go this way. Got him? <laughs> oh yeah, you want to talk about booms. That explosive jump is where it's at, brother. That's that's that shit. Let's read this tablet. There is no known way out of... I've already seen that. I, I've read that before. That's old hat. I don't need to read that again. You're telling me stuff I already know. Tell me something I don't know. Give me a good tidbit. Something worth my while. Don't re regurgitate the same lines repeatedly in your little tablets. Well? Okay, I don't... I don't see anywhere else to go here. So... Hmm. Where will we venture to next? Maybe there'd be a secret passage in the water, but I guess not. This will lead us back in that direction. That goes back down there. We just came from that way. So... Back in this room. Can't blow up the orb. Ah... Uh, Well, this is troublesome because it feels like I've nowhere else to go, which means maybe the only where else to go there is for me. Oh, look at that. You see a little shadow of the bad guy who's behind me. That's probably what that ring is doing for me. It's letting me know you got a bad, a bad guy right back there at your six. Now I'm feeling stuck. Can't get that guy because I don't have anything to reach down there with. Uh, let me look at some of the walls that supposedly don't have doors. Let's see. Anything there? Maybe, maybe back here a little bit. No. Now we're just in this, that, that phase of the game where you're just walking around trying to find something new. 
which can be very boring. It can be very boring indeed when you get to this point in the game where it's like, all right, I feel like I've seen everything. When you feel like you've done your dude diligence, searching around, trying to find new and exciting stuff, and uh, there's just nothing there for you. No passages. Not even any new traps. Just, just bullshit. Yeah, definitely nothing going on in here. I have definitely exhausted this room, if no other. I can say that pretty damn well. So, I've looked all around here. I can go back into this room, where we have definitely searched around as well. And, uh... I know there's nothing in here, but... Like I said, you reach a certain point, what are you gonna do? The only thing you can do is backtracking when that seems like all you got left. Because there's nowhere new to go. There's nowhere new to find. Oops, I almost stepped on the spikes. That's how they try to get you. They try to lure you in, you know, let you know. Uh, it's okay. No big bad guys around. You can explore to your heart's content. Nothing's gonna get you. But then, you see, they probably want me to... Do they want me to just throw in the towel and jump down in that hole? Be like, well, maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to see where this hole takes me. And then I do it and it says, Harvested. I feel like that would be the trick. That's the trick they're going to try to pull on me. Make it so that looks like the most sensible option. Maybe I just need to go ahead and drop down there and see what happens, you know? Maybe that's, I don't know, maybe it's not so bad. Well, I guess they're going to force me to do it. I have spent the last 15 minutes going back through each and every room, starting at the green. I circled, well, squared every single room looking for a secret entrance to uh, another pathway, and I couldn't find anything. Nothing at all. This seems to be it. So the only thing that I have left to do now is to jump down in this hole. So I guess that's what I'll do. Light the candles to... Oh. Okay. Well, I'm genuinely shocked that that did not lead to my death. I was fully expecting it to just say, Harvested. And then start it over and be like, and then have me saying, what, what the shit was I supposed to do? Light. 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 It's the Wizard Lord. Uh. Where is he? Oh, there he is. It's the Wizard Lord. Oh, shit. Oh, what the f- <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, I don't know. I'm turned off now. I'm turned off. That was bullshit. You drop down. You've exhausted everything there is to do, seemingly, in, in that upper area of the map. I went around and looked at everything. There was nowhere else to go. There was nothing else to collect. I couldn't possibly get any more coins or uh, buy anything else or upgrade anything else. So the only place left to go is down the, the tubes. Go down that hole. You go down the hole and then the guy's standing there and he starts shooting fire at you like a son of a bitch. And I think, oh, I got my explosive jump. I'll just jump over there to him. But then the fire starts the fire starts cascading across the room in waves. And it's like, okay, there's not even enough time 
to get oriented and figure out what the pattern of those waves is going to be. I've been hit by a couple flames and then, but you're harvested, son. Have a seat. Try again. And it's like, what? You want me to spend 40 more minutes or however long to go through all of the dungeon rooms to find the place where I'm supposed to drop down and face the bad guy again. I suppose that's like a boss fight. Beat him and then what? Maybe then you get an orb? But it's just like, what with my shitty little fire, what fireplace poker sword? And my jump, but he had like flames coming out of him first. He was like engulfed in flames. So I don't even know if I had jumped over the waves of flames, if I'd be able to make it up next to him to do any damage without being engulfed in flames myself, just for getting too close. There's not enough time to examine what's happening. It, it, that's just... And I didn't get... I, I thought I found an orb, but apparently it's not the right orb, because then I went back into the dream zone, or the, the wake-up zone, into my bedroom, I had zero orbs that I could present to the statues to try and raise my, my HP or whatever the shit. So then, okay, you die at the boss, then you just start over. Like the game just began again. Like a true rogue-like. Not a rogue light, but a rogue-like. Because you're just, zip, you just wiped out all your progress. Now you're back at square one because you died. That's how it felt to me. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe there was something I missed, but my experience with that game just then was... That wasn't worth uh, what I paid for it. That's how I feel. Not trying to, to be a hater. I'm just saying. It looks cool. And it seems like there's a nice foundation there, but uh, I just don't understand. I'm not going to refund it or anything. I don't do that. I like, never refund games, even though I didn't spend that much time with it. Uh, I just don't do that. I think that a little old school in that sense, you know? It's like you'd go to the, to the old, old video game shop, you know? You pick out a game, you buy it, you take it home, and you try it, and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And I felt like today, I kind of lost. Because, you know, it's not it's not like a, a game that costs $4.99. And I'm not saying it should cost $4.99, I'm just saying things could be tweaked uh, before I would advise someone to go out and spend $15 on this game. Because it just seemed like there's just, uh, in a game like this, in my opinion, that's all I'm giving you is my opinion, I think you need to be rewarded a little bit for the time you've put in, right? And I didn't feel like I was getting any of that, and it, it felt like being dropped into that boss fight there, just, I, I had absolutely no chance. I felt like I had no chance in that fight. There was no chance to get oriented. There was no chance to attack him confidently. Using the magic seemed like such a boner in the dirt. I didn't even want to try it after, like, I cast one spell. And it looked like after I did that, my health was just brought down by, like, half from casting one spell. So that made me not even want to bother with the, uh, the magical component. And if that's supposed to be a large part of the game, again, that needs to be tweaked in my opinion. You don't want to punish the player for using magic spells if that's like supposed to be one of the cool parts of the game. It seemed neat. It seems like a neat idea. It seems like a cool idea to have the sigils and to, uh, to scroll through them and then choose them in, in a particular order. But not only does lowering your life suck when you're selecting a particular sigil. I don't like that component of it at all. I think that's that's a bad idea. I also don't like that it takes so long to cast a spell. Like imagine being in the middle of a boss fight and running around and trying to do that at the same time. It just it's not that 
It's not that it just requires skill, it just feels unwieldy and clunky, like there has to be a, a better way. Um, maybe if you could, uh, if you could set the sigils to individual keys, you know, then you could be moving around and doing that, I think, a little more efficiently. I don't know. It, it just didn't, it didn't tickle my, my taint in just the right way. So, it, it looks cool, and again, I like the kind of foundation that's there, but at this stage, it is early access still, and I suppose that's why they put games out in early access so they can hear the feedback and tweak things before a full release. So, um, again, it just needs, uh, it needs some, some balancing in my opinion. Anyhow, that's about all I got to say about Dungeons of Blood and Dream at the moment. Perhaps I'll revisit it down the line, maybe after some uh, updates, see if it's changed up at all, improved a bit. Solid foundation, looks great visually, cool soundtrack, nice vibe, cool enemy designs and all that shit, but the gameplay, in my opinion, needs to be made... I don't even want to say more forgiving. Just a little more fun. But maybe I'm a pussy, that's also possible too. Alright guys, until next time, take real good care, keep kicking ass, love you lots, Lord willing, I'll be back very soon with another video for you to watch. Bye bye